Hey guys, it's Jenny from Southern Savers. I told you that I would try to pop into the chef's store today, so we're gonna go in live. I have not asked permission. Sometimes it's better to just ask for forgiveness than for, for permission, and they're kind of busy. So um, we're gonna head in. I'm gonna give you a tour of just what they offer, what their sales are, and this is where we get meat. So a lot of folks have asked, since Zaycon fell apart, what are our options to save on bulk meat? So if you can find a restaurant supply store, this is it. Now, at the chef's store, um, I don't need to own a restaurant. I don't need to have a, even a business. I'm just a normal person shopping. Uh, it's like a warehouse club, but no membership is required. So pretty sweet, really, when you think about having to pay to be a member at Costco or Sam's. So I'm gonna show you around and show you what they offer. I will say from the very beginning, we really wanna stick with fresh and frozen um, the whole rest of the store is canned um, and packaged goods. It's uh, things that you would use in a restaurant and we don't need that. So we're talking like a 60 pound bag of rice or a 50 gallon drum of soy sauce. You don't need to go there. So let's stick with fresh, let's stick with frozen. There are some really good deals um, and they run sales. So just to start off the bat, uh, look at this one. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on and we'll go in. But look at that, chicken breasts right now, 89 cents a pound, guys. So this is the joy of shopping um, at the chef store. So we're gonna go in and I'll show you produce first, because that's what you hit first. So they sell some bulk produce just from the get-go. These are large packages, but if you wanted to start your own co-op, you really could do it just from one of these. So Diana and Shanna, we are in the U.S. Foods Chef Store that is in Columbia, South Carolina. There are five now on the East Coast. If you don't have a chef store, what you're looking for is um, a restaurant supply store. So same difference, um, same amount of things that they're going to carry. So to give you an idea here on produce, um, red potatoes are coming out to 50 cents a pound. That's a massive bag. Um, but again, you could split that with some folks if you wanted to. Bananas are 50 cents a pound. If you go for that 40 pound box, um, they're gonna come out to right at 50 cents a pound. Uh, avocados, yes, so Kim, that chicken, it is 89 cents a pound, but it's a 40 pound box. Now, those of us who've been buying from Zacon, um, oh, we're gonna go in in a second. Those of us who've been buying from Zacon for years, 40 pounds is what we could buy. That's how it came. So we've always gotten 40 pound chicken. It's never come in a smaller package for us. Um, so in a sense, this is the same exact size, um, but actually cheaper. Zacon had 99 cent chicken and that's kind of what killed them. It's what set them down. Um, but this is 89 cent chicken. So we're beating that price, same size box. Now uh, I'm gonna turn it back around really quick so you can see I'm seeing. So we've got a huge section of freezer. Um, this whole side is just meat and seafood. Uh, in the back is veggies and fruit and we'll get there. But then in here, these are the refrigerated rooms. So this one's all dairy. The first door, if we've gone in that one, is all fresh produce that stays refrigerated. And then the last one is meat. And I'm gonna go straight on into meat, guys, but it's cold. So I'm gonna try to hurry. You'll notice they have firefighter jackets. I guess I should stop and put one on, but um, I don't know, part of my, my nurse, part of myself doesn't really want to think about who all's worn this. So you should bring your jacket. Oh, and before I go in, I'm going to tell you that my service, I tested it already, is a little low. So if you lose me, I'll jump back out. Just hang on the video and I'll come right back on. Um, but we'll come in and I'll show you. So here's, they've got a ton of chicken. They know that they have it on sale right now. Um, so chicken is just all over the place in the refrigerated rooms. But these are the boxes that it comes in. So this is what a 40 pound box of chicken looks like. And this is what's on sale for 89 cents a pound. So most of the room right now is chicken. It's not always um, this, this heavy on chicken, but it is this week. Um, and then some other prices, I grabbed this um, just to help me out. So they're kind of running tailgate specials since we're in um, uh, football season. So chicken leg quarters, 43 cents a pound. In the grocery store, that's like $1.99. Drumsticks, 43 cents a pound. These are for the cases, uh, but I mean, that's just crazy, crazy good. Um, oh, pops back out. Hold on guys, coming back. So let's see, okay, hopefully, uh, I'll try to stand out here. I lost you as soon as I went in. So we've got a whole bunch of beef. Um, oh, I don't wanna make the door stay open though. I don't wanna make them yell at me. Beef is on that back shelf. Um, and we're talking like ribeyes or six bucks uh, a pound, but it's a huge piece of ribeye that you're gonna need to cut up yourself. And then we have um, 
Oh, uh, ground beef. I guess I'll try to run back in and we'll just see if I, I don't lose you if I'll make it quick. Um, so we've got beef is all across the back. You pick your cut and your size. They do sell them by the eaches here, but the eaches are still pretty big. Um, so you're still gonna wanna cut that up uh, and, and go from there. But price-wise for some of these things, it's nowhere near the price that the grocery store is gonna charge you. Um, somewhat, I would say almost half of the price in the grocery store. So this is ground beef. They come in 10 pound rolls, uh, or you can go by the case. Now the case is 75 pounds, so most of us aren't gonna go there. But uh, look at that price, 260 a pound, guys. That's 80% lean. Uh, they don't have a 93% lean, but if you wanted to go all the way to 73% lean, you could at 223. Okay, I'm gonna pop back out again. Um, something about this room. We have no service in this room. Uh, but hopefully I won't lose a lot of you. So pop back out. So that gives you an idea of um, what the current prices are for fresh meat. So I'm going to stay out for a little bit just so we don't get um, back onto kind of teething mode. But we've got lots of veggies in the outside freezer sections too. And these veggies, if you go for fresh, are super cheap as well. So these are two and a half pound bags for three bucks. Um, for most of them, around three bucks. So consider that if you were to compare it to um, the 12 ounce, you know, Green Giant bags, these are 40 ounces. So it's basically three of those Green Giant bags and you're paying a dollar a piece in that sense. Um, so I do, yes, Terry, I agree. I need, to, I need to go put on the fire coat. I just didn't kind of running in, running out. Um, so lots of different veggies to pick from. And these really are some of the best prices that you're gonna find for fresh, already put up, already, um, already cut and sliced veggies. And then the other thing that I always grab, so I mean, we have a ton of frozen here, but keep on going and you get to frozen fruit and their fruit prices when they run a sale are crazy, crazy good. Um, but even off sale, I'm trying to find something that you guys would want. So whole strawberries, um, oh, they don't even have a price for them. Where are you buddies? All your prices are along those lines, but I'm not seeing the strawberry one next to it. Um, but that is like a 20 pound box of strawberries. We've got blackberries. Uh, that's a 10 pound box of blackberries for 23. So it's basically like 2.30 a pound. It's much better than fresh in the grocery store. Uh, but you got a lot of options there if you are a big smoothie family. Um, so it looks like mangoes are on sale. If you wanted to go mangoes, you could. Um, but they always run sales. Oh, and someone was asking what their, what their sales run. So this current flyer started on, what is that, um, Monday? And runs until the next Monday. So the sales are one week long. And there's a good chunk of things that are on there. Uh, a lot of meat options this week. And usually it looks like one or two um, fruit things and then one or two veggies. So um, some questions I see popping in. It is open to the public. There is nobody checking. There's no membership fee. And when you go to check out, you just pay like a normal person. So you pay with your credit card or your debit card. They don't care. Um, you do not have to have a US Foods account. You do not have to have a restaurant. So um, you're good and you can uh, go to town. Um, oh, Aaron, say and bring your back brace. So I'll show you this is what most people drive around the store um, because those cases are so large. So. Um, you have to you have to be ready to grab a lot you know it's a bring your husband kind of store if you can't lift things um, Paula the one in Charlotte is on the south side of Charlotte there's also one in Charleston and they're building one in Savannah so um, and then we're in the Columbia location so those are all the ones on the East Coast um, Gina they do sell ground um, chicken or sorry ground turkey it is probably actually gonna be in these outside cases though, sold by um, the box. So um, for a lot of their meats that they can, they don't need to carry fresh, um, they'll carry frozen. So uh, that would be my guess. I mean, even here we could grab frozen chicken breasts if we wanted to, they're still about the same price. Um, I am not a normal ground turkey purchaser, but I have no doubt that they sell it. Um, so for us, we use this not only for our family, but we also use it for other things. Um, like we are part of a um, scouting troop. So when we do a scouting camp out, I can come here and get basically a hundred hot dogs for 18 bucks. Um, so it's, you know, I can't beat this price anywhere and nor do I have to go crazy, you know, stocking up with some, I just bought all the hot dogs in Publix. 
Um, so in terms of kosher, I would imagine that you will find some things that are labeled that. They do not carry a lot of organic, um, but they do carry, they will mark things as being hormone free or antibiotic free. So um, you just need to kind of watch those labels as you go through. Uh, one of the things, this is the part my mother-in-law loves, is their spice sections. Those are all huge containers of spices uh, and it kind of just keeps on going. Uh, so if you love to cook, this is a great way to get um, some pretty cheap prices when you think about you know, how much onion powder is in that for $4.50. Um, so we normally, at this point for our family, stop here on this aisle. We don't ever go further, but I'll show you how big the store is. So I'm telling you, you don't necessarily want to come in and, and plan on all the dry goods because they're really in sizes that you would never use. Like they have a whole bunch set out here for tailgating. You're probably not going to need, a normal family does not need that much barbecue sauce or that much mustard. Um, so most of us, if I would, I would stick with this side of the store and be in the produce and the dairy. So um, I can run into this side in the refrigerated too. We really went into the meat in the beginning, um, but uh, I'll show you what's in here. I'll probably start to lose service, so I'll run back out again. Um, but a lot of what they have out here, just if it's veggies that need to stay cold, they're going to stay in this side. So we've got lettuce and we've got carrots over there, um, sprouts, <laughs> sprouts and spinach, lots of cabbage in the corner. Um, and then we start to get into fruits. So we have strawberries and cantaloupes and um, kiwis and they have everything in big, big packages. Um, so just so you kind of get an idea, in the middle between us and meat, it's way back there, is dairy. So we're already starting to get some of the dairy. I will say in terms of grocery store, their dairy prices, their dairy prices don't beat grocery store prices. So stick with produce, stick with meat, and stick with frozen, and you're gonna get some killer deals. Uh, and yes, I see some of you guys talking. So some restaurant supply stores are not open to the public, um, but you can still get into those too because most restaurant supply stores really only want you to have a tax ID number. So if they're closed to the public, as long as you have a tax ID number, you can get in. Guys, anybody can get a tax ID number. You can get a tax ID number without having a business. So you gotta Google that one, but you can get a household tax ID number. It's really meant in, in the sense of if you paid a nanny or you paid a house cleaner um, and you didn't wanna give them your social as your employer, they will let you get a tax ID number and then you can shop in a restaurant supply store. So if you are having trouble getting in one, this one does not require that, just to emphasize, no requirements uh, like that in the chef store. But just so you know that you can. So Gordon Food Service, as I see folks mention, is the other big one. Um, they have uh, some locations in Tennessee and Nashville. Um, and then the chef store has locations in Charlotte, Columbia, Savannah, um, and Charleston right now, uh, just in the South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia section. Uh, the other thing to look for, guys, is to Google wholesale meats and the name of your city. Uh, I've even found some in Atlanta. Now, I'm not sure if they will let you shop there, but it never hurts to Google and to call and to see if they will let you in. So I wanted to give you a quick glimpse of what it looks like. Um, so I'll spin back around. So uh, back there in the back's meat, and dairy we've got a lot of frozen meats as well um, but it's really worth it uh, at least looking into so if you popped in late one of the biggest reasons that I emphasize is 89 cent chicken yes you're gonna need to put it up yes you're gonna need a vacuum sealer to make that work but at that price the grocery store sale price for chicken is a buck 99 so you're gonna walk in and get it less than half the price and you're gonna walk out with 40 pounds, but you're not gonna need chicken for probably three months. So just to have that kind of, you know, that idea in the back of your head. So for folks that are not super close to one, I think it would totally be worth a drive. You know, I saw someone mention what's near Greenville. Totally worth a drive um, to come down to Columbia from Greenville or up to Charlotte from Greenville even once every three months so that you're gonna come in, you're gonna buy your chicken and your ground beef and maybe something else and then go home. It's a road trip, but you're gonna save a ton of money for that road trip. So that is what I recommend to most folks who don't have one in their area. If you can find one, even within an hour, hour and 15 minutes, it is worth it. 
I saw someone else mention, um, where is it in Charleston? It's in Somerville. So they, it's outside of Charleston just a little bit, but that is where they just opened within the last couple of weeks. So it's a fun one to pop in on. They also do run some coupons from time to time. So if you follow them on Facebook, um, which I think is at US, at US Food Chef Store or at Chef Store on Facebook. So you'll have to, you'll have to look it up. Um, but they do post coupons from time to time. So check there too. Um, and then Kate, you're asking organic. Um, most of what they have here is not organic. So um, they will label it as antibiotic free, hormone free, but they do not carry a lot of organic products um, because it's really not who they're catering towards. So they're catering towards the chef store particularly. They're catering towards like the mom and pop um, small restaurants and to homeowners, you know, just folks that want to be able to get it in bulk and get a pretty good price. So um, without having to go back into the freezer section where my phone doesn't work, uh, I will show you guys some of the prices here on the, just the outside frozen. So this is, um, these are things that actually, you know, are good to stay for a while. So these are ground beef patties. Um, there are 30 of them in the box and they are 25 bucks. So, um, you know, this week we have lots of grocery stores charging you a dollar a patty. You should never buy those in the grocery store. Um, so these are gonna come out even cheaper. So if you like your patties already done, I'm gonna buy the ground beef and put it in the patty myself kind of girl. Um, Cause you're gonna save a lot to do that. Fish also, this is where we tend to get our salmon. Um, it's gonna come usually in 20 pound cases trying to see if I can find salmon really quick. We've got crab and all sorts of others, tilapia. Um, so even to show you this one, tilapia is a 10 pound case um, and price wise there, I guess I'll turn it this way because you guys might not be able to read both sides. So tilapia is a 10 pound case for 23 bucks. It's $2.34 a pound. In the grocery store, this is gonna be, um, what, like six, five ninety nine, maybe on a really, really good price. And then the other thing to realize, this one's kind of open, so I'll show you, is that these are all individually um, frozen already, so they're they're not all stuck together. And then um, you can come home and put those in bags. And then some of them, depending on what you grab, um, let's see if we can find, there's flounder. Some of them actually come already vacuum sealed. That's how our salmon comes. Here we go. Um, come on, salmon. Uh, so it comes vacuum sealed and ready to go. This is if you wanted to get each piece. So most of us wouldn't go there. Um, at the each piece, it's gonna be a lot cheaper to go and to get the, the whole box if you wanted to, um, or to get numerous pieces, but uh, not necessarily buy the piece. So just keep that in mind, because you're coming into a store that's all about buying it in bulk, um, you're gonna get a much better price to do that. So um, $7.49 for salmon, which right now is I think somebody has it on sale this week for $7.99. I think that's Lowe's Foods. So everyone else has it more in the $9.99 or above range for something that is really not on sale at all. Oh, sorry. Okay, so Lynn's correcting me. It's on Upper Meeting Street near downtown Charleston, not Somerville. Sorry, I just looked it up on a map really quick. So thanks for correcting me on that. Um, yeah, I don't. we don't eat tilapia a lot either, but I will say that right now I'm pretty hungry because doing keto, there's nowhere that you can eat lunch when you're out and about town. So I would probably eat it right now. Okay, well, I'm gonna pop off. I think I've given you guys a pretty good tour. The gist is fresh produce. We're gonna look for fresh produce, and then we're gonna hang in the freezer sections, and then the fresh meat, which I showed you kind of in the beginning. Sadly, I don't really have any service in the meat rooms, so I can't go back in there. Um, but really, the big thing to remember is just how cheap it is. So um, boneless, skinless chicken breasts are 89 cents a pound right now. The ground beef was like 270 a pound, which Publix has on sale for 349. So you start to see really quickly why very rarely do I grab meat in the grocery store, because these folks can always beat it. So while we have lost Acon, um, there are still lots of ways to go. Um, is it cheaper than Costco? So here, Susie, the salmon was $7.49. Um, and I would say here too, you're not paying for that Costco membership. That's kind of the fun part. And not to mention, Susie, because I know who you are, this is like, what, half a mile from your house? So this should be your option. <laughs> um, but I would say for most of us, not having to pay the membership fee and the meat prices are going to be, if they're dead even, they're still winning out on not having to pay the membership fee, but most of them are actually gonna be lower 
than Costco. So uh, in terms of a warehouse versus a restaurant supply, not having to pay that membership fee is gonna help you win on almost every single product. So hopefully that helps guys. Um, I know you guys have been asking to see the inside, so um, nobody yelled at us and nobody kicked us out, so we're good. Um, but if you've got any other questions, I'll keep tabs on the comments today. I'm gonna head home and put all my groceries uh, in, um, in the fridge and the freezer, but uh, I will pop back on later and share um, what we grabbed from the grocery stores today as well. Uh, Carmen, they do not have their pricing online. So I've tried. What you can see are their weekly sale flyers, but you're not gonna be able to find any of the other prices to, um, in terms of getting an idea before you came in for regular prices. Uh, and Susie, quality-wise, the salmon, that's pretty much all that we eat. We usually buy the case here and it lasts us. It's already vacuum sealed by the whole filet, which we're you know, a pretty big family, but that one big filet will feed all of us. I just cook one at a time um, and it, it's great. We've not had any complaints with their salmon um, and we always grab their chicken and their ground beef, so no complaints there either. Uh, with the chicken, if you're curious, they do sell a pre-clipped that's already trimmed and ready to go or they sell just the traditional chicken breasts that you might wanna get home and trim. So you'll need to make that decision as to which one you wanna grab. The one that is 89 cents a pound right now is not the pre-trimmed, but even the pre-trimmed still came out to like $1.15, so it's not a bad price at all. Okay, I'm gonna, I am gonna pop off um, and head out, so you guys have a great afternoon, and I'll pop back on later with the deals that we grabbed. So thanks for joining me.